Good morning, everyone. I'm Jared from Reap What You Sow. Today, I am going to show you how to make a healthy alternative to mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Mayo. <laughs> However you want to say it. <laughs> so, we're going to make a kombucha mayonnaise. Why kombucha? Okay, kombucha is really, really good for you. It's a probiotic. So, kombucha has the bacteria lactobacillus in it, which is aids in good digestion and stuff. It's very, very good for your digestive system. So, we're going to be adding some kombucha, and we're going to be making our homemade mayonnaise. So, my goal for uh, 2020 is to move further away from the big box stores and start making my own stuff. So this will basically be like a low fat mayonnaise uh, or mayo, however you want to pronounce it. But um, eight ounces of kombucha usually has about 120 calories in it. So you're not going to be eating eight ounces of mayo. So you can subtract and do the math from there. Uh, but let's get started on making this mayo. The first thing, I gotta get a bowl. No, I'm gonna use my thing, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, the first thing we need to do, we need the yolk of two large eggs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate this out. And these eggs are from my chickens. Okay, there's our two eggs. So, next up, we're going to need one cup of avocado oil. I guess you could use may, uh, olive oil if you choose, but avocado oil tastes a little better to me, and it's a little bit more healthier to me than the uh, olive oil. Avocado got a healthy fat in it. Okay. And with this, I know some mayonnaise is you have to blend up the eggs and stuff separate. But uh, this, you're just going to put it all together and blend it. Okay, so that's one cup of our avocado oil. Okay, we're going to add some onion powder. And we're going to add a half a teaspoon of that. Got my little teaspoon. Uh, we're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt, too. You can use the uh, sea salt. I use the uh, pink Himalayan salt. So we need a half a teaspoon of salt, <clears throat> a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and we're going to need a half of a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. Okay, and we're going to need a half of a teaspoon of uh, this grape upon mustard. You can use mustard powder, but I choose to use this. So we're going to need about a half a teaspoon of that. So, up next is the kombucha. We got a fourth cup of the kombucha juice. We're going to pour that over in there. And all you would need now is to blend it from here. But because we are Todd's Cajun and we're from South Louisiana, we like our stuff a little bit more spicy. So, I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. Spice. Some pepper to it. You don't want to add much because this stuff is already pre-salted. So next you're going to take your immersion blender 
you're going to get all the way to the bottom, and you're going to keep pulsing and working this. It's going to be loud, y'all. you really need look how thick this is already and it will thicken more in the refrigerator so let me be the taste test awesome guys awesome 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 oh wow did y'all see that <laughs> I made a mess so next up is my container what did I do with the container here it is. I just bought me a little squirt bottle that comes with these labels. You can get these off Amazon. And so all I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm going to fill my little container with this. And this stuff will last in the refrigerator up to three months. And it will get even thicker in the refrigerator. But that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. I appreciate you. Like, subscribe, and share this video out. So, this is not all we're going to make with the Scobies in the kombucha. So, stay tuned for more kombucha recipes. 2020 Healthier Lifestyle. Let's push for our goals. We can do it.